The 1960s television series Mr. Ed, about a talking horse, is part of the American 20th century. But few remember the tight associations between the lead actor and the American Communist Party. And that's exactly how both Mr. Ed and J. Edgar Hoover wanted it. New facts have emerged from the posthumous archives of the late Professor Chester Featherstone of the University of New Hampshire. After his early retirement, due to his declining mental health, Featherstone devoted the rest of his life to gathering data about Mr. Ed. He compiled a huge archive which historians at the university are still cataloging. But they have already found some amazing facts. First, the premise of a talking horse who must keep himself secret parallels the experience of many individuals with communist sympathies, especially in the 1950s. Just how tight these connections to international communism were were not visible to those who watched the American version of the series. But the version shown behind the Iron Curtain was far more sympathetic to the red viewpoint. The connections were even stronger than that. As shown in this recently discovered photo, local cells of the American Communist Party closely tracked each new episode. And they may have gotten more than just solidarity out of the broadcasts. Exhibit A is this photo, discovered by Chesterton. His notes say it was made available through the Chinese Freedom of Information Act. We see a horse meeting with Chinese Communist Party leaders in the summer of 1964, likely during the summer break in filming. Facial recognition software now confirms the horse is Mr. Ed. And here is a Kodachrome shot of Mr. Ed at home in Tarzana, California, later that same summer. Chesterton also discovered the lead writer for the series was one Dalton Rumbot, who shared a birthday and social security number with the well-known blacklisted screenwriter Dalton Trumbo. The full scope of Mr. Ed's criminal activities are not known, but he is shown here at a meeting of the Pluma Pietra crime family in Key Biscayne, Florida in 1965. Mr. Ed's falling out with these unnamed sponsors may have led to the series cancellation in 1966. As always, stay safe, keep looking behind you on rainy nights, and thanks for watching.